hi welcome to med sorting so med sorting is also a divide and conquer algorithm in the sense we will divide the given array into two halves this will be done until we are getting single element in the each sub list so after that we will apply the merging approach uh, that merging approach will merge the each uh, partition into a single uh, array so here uh, the given list is divided into two halves this two ha this half again divided into here uh, one four is one sub list and eight into another sub list so the so then one uh, will be one list and four will be one list eight is already uh, partitioned like that two also will be partitioned separately three also will be partitioned separately then we will uh, compare these two elements uh, if it is um, one i mean one less than or equal to four it is true then one will be arranged in the same position but here we will compare 4 comma 8 so when it is comparing uh, 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 4 comma 8 so 4 is less than the 8 so no problem at all so it will be uh, uh, shorted like this 1 4 8 then what will be happen this array will be compared with this array so here uh, first 2 and 3 will be compared so 2 will be arranged and 3 will be arranged as a next so then they, we will compare these two sub arrays so one will be compared with the 2 and 3 so here uh, this is uh, less than the 2 and 3 so it will be placed in the same place then here uh, 4 will be compared when 4 is comparing 2 is less than the 4 so it will be arranged in the swapping will be done and uh, for uh, here again 4 is compared with the 3 so here 3 is the uh, less than 4 so again 3 is swapping then now uh, 4 is uh, this sub list is over then 4 will be placed here then 4 uh, here for 4 and uh, 4 is over then 8 so 8 is compared with the 2 right so this is uh, less than the element so no need of uh, no this is already you look at that we have we have sorted this element only one element left that one element will be uh, positioned in the last index so this is the way to apply the merge shot so as per the given uh, a code we are passing uh, eight elements in the given array that eight elements are first index is one last index is eight so one less than eight this is true then we are calculating middle index initially 1 plus 8 is 9, uh, nine. so 9 divided by 2 the value is 4.5 here floor value is 4 decimal portion will be i mean fractional portion will be ignored so floor value will be considered as a middle element so 4 is the middle index so now in this one 4 is the middle index so once 4 is the middle index we are taking the uh, recursive call array first index to middle index so 1 to 4 so 1 to 4 will be one uh, sub array so that is calling into the uh, recursion so now we are passing 1 to 4 so 1 is the first index last index is the 4 then we are checking 1 less than 4 yes it is true One is, once it is true we are applying the middle value middle index calculation 1 plus 4 is 5 so divided by 2 this is 2.5 so floor value will be considered this will be ignored so now uh, middle middle index is 2 so this the, so the 1 to 4 is one sub array this one in this sub array we are calculating the middle index so middle index is now 2 middle index is now 2 so now in this middle index again we are applying the uh, recursive call uh, 2 this is recursive call 2 previous one is 1 so in the second recursive call again the first index is 1 last index is 2 okay here we are call, applying 1 comma 2 middle element right so again we are checking next uh, recursive call 1 less than 2 in the 1 less than 2 it is true again we are applying the middle value calculation the middle value calculation is now uh, 1 plus 2 okay first index plus last index divided by 2 right so here 3 by 2 
here 1.5 so fractional part ignored the floor value is 1 so in this subarray uh, 1 is the uh, middle element then look at that we are calling again merge short uh, first index is 1 middle index is also 1 we are calling this third recursive call the third recursive call 1 comma 1 so you are having single element here again you are applying 1 less than 1 this is false once this is false the third recursive call is over so third recursive call is now over so single element is uh, partitioned so finally we should have each sublist with the single element then previous recursive call is second recursive call which is the second recursive call uh, second recursive call is this one in this second recursive call our middle element is 2 okay this this is the middle element so now for that we have to apply this statement so this statement is 2 plus 1 2 plus 1 is 3 comma last index is here 4 okay here the last index is 4 right this this recursive call okay so now last index is 4 right so from this again you are applying the recursive call so this recursive call is we are applying here so this is actually a fourth recursive call okay so now 3 comma 4 we are checking here 3 less than 4 so it is true now now we are calculating the middle element so 3 plus 4 7 right equal to 7 divided by 2 it will be 3.5 so fl floor value will be considered so now uh, for this now we have to call this portion so 3 and 4 so 3 comma 4 so now we look at the middle element middle element is 3 right middle element is sorry first index first index what is the first index 3 okay so 3 comma 3 so we are passing 3 as the middle element okay uh, first index is also 3 okay first index also 3 middle index also 3 so now what will be happen we will get single element is the value again when you are calling 3 comma 3 so now you will apply 3 less than 3 so this condition will be false so this recursive call this is the fifth recursive call actually fifth recursive call is exited then or uh, we, are, we will uh, go back to the fourth recursive call in the fourth recursive call the middle element okay so here you look at that middle element is 3 right so in the fourth recursive call still existing in that in that fourth recursive call middle element is we have calculated that is 3 so in that 3 so 3 plus 1 4 last index is also 4 so this is the third recursive call am i right fourth recursive call in that 4 comma 4 so 4 comma 4 is the we are passing now uh, this is sixth recursive call for uh, now we are getting so 4 comma 4 so 4 comma 4 when you are calculating 4 comma 4 this is false so this will exit so now we have uh, a single element in the uh, side, uh, left side of the subarray so this subarray is entirely now uh, splitted into single element in each sublist so fourth recursive call also now uh, over so here from the four after the fourth recursive call we have to go back previous recent call is here uh, 2 okay in this uh, 2 what we have supplied here 1 comma 4 right 1 comma 4 is here then the fourth is the middle index then middle plus 1 is 4 plus 1 then 4 plus 1 here 8 so 5 comma 8 is the value we are passing as the first index and last index so from the 5 comma 8 this is the 5 comma 8 we are passing we are getting the sublist 5 comma 8 so 5 less than 8 we are getting so this is true then we are calculating the middle element so here uh, this is actually one of the recursive call okay so let's take this one is the seventh recursive call right so now second one is also over okay uh, first one is now it's going on so 5 plus 8 13 divided by 2 13 divided by 2 here middle element we are calculating middle element for 13 divided by 2 6.5 so floor value is 6 
so uh, middle element is the 6 so first index is 5 then middle in, middle index is 6 so 5 comma 6 we are taking the subarray again we are applying one more recursive call so this one is eighth recursive call right so for that we are passing now 5 is the first index 6 is the uh, uh, middle index so the middle index is acting as a last index now we are checking 5 less than 6 yes it is true then 5 plus 6 11 so middle index will be 11 by 2 here 5.5 uh, 5. so 5.5 5 is the value so now we are taking floor value 5 so 5 is passing now okay in this location so 5 is the first index 5 is the middle index we are passing that so in that 5 comma 5 we are ca calling next uh, recursive call this is ninth recursive call so this is having single element so 5 comma 5 so 5 comma 5 we are passing in this 5 comma 5 this condition will be false 5 less than 5 will be false so ninth ninth uh, recursive call is over now you coming back to the uh, eighth recursive call in the eighth recursive call we sent 5 comma 6 so after 5 comma 6 we have to call this one so middle plus 1 5 is the middle 5 is the middle here okay so five, middle plus 1 is 6 so 6 comma the last index is also 6 so here 6 last index is also 6 so 6 comma 6 so this will be uh, uh, is a sublist uh, sublist separate sublist which is passing now okay this one is actually now uh, a 10th recursive call so now in the 10th recursive call we are passing 6 comma 6 so this 6 comma 6 when you are comparing here 6 less than 6 it will be false so once it is false then uh, 10th recursive calls also over this is um, uh, divided into single element so previous one is here 70 is also already uh, over right so in this uh, next one is we are having this one uh, the s yes, seventh so seventh is still pending uh, seventh is over actually um, we are having uh, yes in the seventh we have passed uh, five comma eight okay so in the five comma eight we have uh, uh, we have the middle element is six for that we have to uh, pass next array 6 plus 1 6 plus 1 and last element is 8 so now this subarray will be considered 7 comma 8 7 comma 8 will be considered then again you will pass you will get 7th element separately and 8th element separately so after this all the uh, conditions will become the when in this first less than 8 so in this location everything will become false so everything is now uh, separated into sublist so each one is one sublist each one is in the sublist sublist 1 sublist 2 sublist 3 sublist 4 sublist 5 6 7 8 so we have uh, divided the all the elements into individual sublist then we will call the uh, merge function uh, to merge the elements one by one that we will see in the next video. Thanks for watching.